How did an illegitimate son of a former chief ascend to become one of the most influential leaders in African history? How did Shaka Zulu, born under a cloud of controversy around 1787, manage to revolutionize military tactics and create one of the most formidable states in Southern Africa? Shaka Zulu's story is one of determination, cunning, and strategic genius. His rise to power was marked by a profound transformation of the Zulu kingdom. His leadership style was radical, breaking from the traditional chieftainship system that had dictated the Zulu's way of life for centuries. Instead, Shaka envisioned a united kingdom under one highland authority. He organized the kingdom into military districts and regiments, each overseen by a loyal military general. This allowed for continuous expansion of Zulu territory through strategically orchestrated military campaigns against neighboring tribes, notably the Ndwandwe and the Kulusi. Shaka's military genius extended beyond the battlefield. He implemented a disciplined regimental system based on age and loyalty. But his most significant contribution to warfare was the introduction of the Asagai, a short stabbing spear that proved to be a game changer on the battlefield. Combined with the chest and horns battlefield formation, the Zulu warriors under Shaka's command were a formidable force. Their conquests extended from the north of the Pongala River to the south towards the Cape Colony, incorporating neighboring chiefdoms into the growing Zulu kingdom. This military prowess was not without social implications. Warriors, known as Impi, held high status in society, while women, children, and others had defined roles within the community. Success in battle often determined one's status within Zulu society reinforcing the importance of military discipline and loyalty. Beyond the battlefield, Shaka Zulu left a lasting cultural legacy. He introduced new forms of dance, music, and rituals such as the famous Zulu war dance, which celebrated the bravery and skill of warriors. Under his reign, the iconic Zulu warrior attire, including distinctive shields and headdresses, emerged. Yet, Shaka's reign was not without controversy. His brutal methods of governance and the destabilization of traditional clan structures led to dissent among his people. In 1828, Shaka was assassinated by his half-brothers, plunging the Zulu kingdom into a period of instability. Despite the challenges and controversies, Shaka Zulu's influence on the Zulu kingdom and Southern African history is undeniable. He transformed a collection of clans into a powerful state, introduced innovative military tactics, and left a lasting cultural legacy. His story serves as a testament to the power of strategic leadership and the enduring impact of a single individual on the course of history.